How's it going everybody? Welcome to today's video. Um, it is a sunny and humid day this morning. Uh, oh boy, it's going to be a hot one. It's going to hit in the 90s uh, later on and I think it's actually almost there. Um, as soon as I open the garage door, yeah, that humidity is definitely kicking in and we have the air conditioning on inside. So that's when you know it, spring is over. And this is, always happens here in Connecticut where uh, we get this beautiful stretch of three weeks stretch of beautiful, sunny, um, comfortable temperature. And then all of a sudden uh, the humidity kicks in. So anyway, we are doing a, oops, four hour, a little over four hour ride today, about four hours and 15 minutes of riding and uh, not too many climbing. I think Jason wants to attempt Cozier Hill again. Um, I also am going to attempt it, but he's gonna go first and uh, I'm gonna go after him. And hopefully we'll be able to stop at American Pie Company. We wanna try out, uh, taste test their strawberry shortcake uh, for a retirement. Uh, for his mother's retirement, just testing it to see if we want that kind of what we want that cake. Um, and yeah, head over to Kent and then back home again. So we'll let you know how the temperature, uh, what it does to us. And it's not that hot yet, but it's it's already feeling humid. And it's supposed to be in the uh, the upper 80s Fahrenheit later, uh, which is I think that's, it might be the first day that we've, that we've had in, in the upper 80s or even in the 80s this year. It's uh, starting to feel like summer already and it's probably going to feel quite hot to us because, um, you know, we're not used to it yet and this will be our first ride in the heat this year. So the ride today, I'm not, not exactly sure how many miles it'll be. It's probably going to be about four hours, maybe a little over four hours, or at least that's the plan. Sometimes you can never really tell exactly how long a ride is going to be, but that's, that's the plan. Yeah, I'm feeling okay. I, uh, so I woke up with, um, well, actually I was experiencing this last night also, um, pain in my eye when I blink. And it seems as though it's just something underneath my bottom eyelid or inside my bottom eyelid and uh, uh, could be a sty. And I put a warm compress on it last night and it seemed to, uh, it seemed that the pain seemed to die down a bit uh, today. So I, I could still see, uh, it's not like it's affecting my, my vision or anything. Um, but aside from that, we're clear. But aside from that, um, feeling pretty good and uh, it's always good when you have a new kit. Uh, Jason got this for me for as a, an early birthday present. Um, my birthday isn't until June but he got it for me and uh, now I get to wear a new kit and I always get excited. I always get excited when there's we get like, or I get like new stuff that's bike related. Yeah, I was really excited to, uh, to give it to her and that's why I didn't wait until her, her birthday. I figured it was also something that, that she'd be able to use uh, before then. And I was hoping to, uh, to find a jersey that would match her bike. And it seems like it's a pretty good match.
Jason attempted the same uh, short segment as last week because he wound up not getting the PR because the uh, segment didn't show up. So let's see um, what he has to say. So last week I actually did get a PR, uh, but I did not. My, my, my goal last week was to move into second place on the leaderboard for that segment. And second place was a minute and 10 seconds. Um, my previous PR after last week was 116. Last week I got 113. And then today I just, it says I got 110. I'll see what Strava says later, but my Wahoo is saying 110, which is, which is tied for second. So that's kind of, I'm glad I got the PR, but uh, I'm one second short of, um, of you know, being in second place alone. And uh, in hindsight, maybe I should have stayed on the saddle the whole way. At the very end, it kind of flattens off a little bit. And uh, I'd, last week, I stayed on the saddle the whole time. This week, once it flattened off, I actually got on the saddle and then just tried to get really arrow. And so I probably wasn't putting out quite as much power, but I mean, I guess I did go faster than last week. Of course, Joy also led me out in the beginning. So I had a little bit of a draft for like the first probably 100 feet of the, of the uh, segment, like right before, right before it starts to get steep. Uh, I had a draft in that beginning part. So between that and getting more arrow at the end might have been the difference. Uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll look at the data later. We felt a little bit of a headwind coming in this direction. We're at Squans Pond again, and it's um, it's nice and breezy here. Um, so, one thing uh, I have to share, sort of reluctantly, is I just shaved my legs yesterday. Uh, all the um, the urging from Joy to do that over the last probably year or so finally wore me, wore me down and I caved in and I shaved my legs. So, uh, so yes, yeah, so far, I don't think it makes a difference, but, um, I guess on, on the bright side, it, it does make it easier to put sunscreen on and hopefully I won't get bugs or dirt stuck to my legs later in the ride. So we'll just go with it and, uh, see what happens. I mean, I did, I did PR that segment earlier and I know Joy's probably going to say it's because I shaved my legs. Um, but we'll see what the data says later. If, uh, if I, if I, if I got the PR with less power than, than last time, then maybe there is something to it. But, um, yeah, I think we're going to try cozier Hill again today. Um, so hopefully, uh, Hopefully I can get some sort of benefit from the shaved legs on that, although I don't, I don't really see that having too big of an effect when you're, you know, I'm going to be going five miles per hour, so how big of an effect can it have? Okay, it's not because I was urging him to shave his legs. It was more of, I was rooting for him to get a PR and maybe the shaved legs would help but now he has silky smooth legs took him how long did it take you about an hour or two right to, to get it done i don't know it's just uh it was a process because first i couldn't just take the razor straight to the long hairs like i had to i had to use like this mini like a trimmer 
to like get it to be stubble first and then take the razor to it. So the whole process took at least an hour, probably more than that. It is, we're at the other side, the other side of Swan's Pond where the boat launch is and there's some tree cover here. So it's a nice and cool and we get a nice breeze from the water. Um, it is actually pretty nice under the shade. And that's the thing with here in Connecticut is that, yeah, it gets pretty humid, but it is, um, the tree cover does help. Just finished the cozier hill climb and I am pretty beat up. I think that was one, might be one of the hardest efforts I've done on a climb. Uh, I don't know if, I don't know if the heat has something to do with it also. Uh, it did go faster and still catching my breath here. Yeah, um, I did go faster, and I don't know if, you know, the heat makes you go faster, you know, less, I don't know, less rolling resistance, or maybe the, the muscles are looser or something, but uh, I had a pretty good time on it, um, got a PR, but I am wiped out now, and that's, that's it for me for the no more hard efforts today. Just gonna take it easy now. Well, guys, I um, tried to get Jason riding up Cozier Hill with a drone, and I'm slowly learning its limitations. Last time I had it following me, I uh, lost signal on it too and and uh, it's the same spot that it lost signal on as last time and so not exactly sure if it's because of all the trees and I know sometimes with our helmet we sometimes we very few times where we lost um, connection and the signal was weak. And so maybe that's what happened. So I really wanted to get J Jason's PR on it. Um, 
and he said he did PR it, but unfortunately, I actually lost the drone. So when the signal went weak, it stopped, like the camera stopped working and uh, it landed in the woods. And so I had to get Jason to get it for me. What one does for love, right? I, I use this feature um, called Find My Drone and it has the drone's location and your location and it's actually pretty accurate. And uh, so I used that and we were able to, I also had it blinking and beeping. So um, using those two things, we were able to find it. So I was pretty impressed by how, by how accurate that is. Anyway, we're heading over to uh, American Pie Company. Jason's inside and he went to grab uh, some treats and water. I've already gone through uh, one bottle of water and it's only been an hour of moving time so far. Um, it's a little bit more than that, especially when we lost the drone, so some time finding that. Oh, so here he is. The guy's gonna be like, I've seen you before. Are you the local legend of Cozier Hill? <laughs> I had a flat and I can't figure out how that happened. So luckily, 20 minutes later, uh, fiddling with the tires, finally got it in and uh, we're ready to go. All right, here we go. Yeah, that was, a, that was a weird and unfortunate event back there with uh, Joy getting a flat. We weren't really sure how that happened, but upon, upon inspecting the, uh, the tube, um, it was a tube that, that we had patched in the past and on a previous flat, and uh, it looked like there might have been a small hole in the patch. So um, that's the only thing I could spot that might have been where it leaked, um, but fortunately able to, to get it fixed up with a, a new tube in there and hopefully that, that'll that uh, work out for the rest of the ride. So the temperature is starting to go up. It's saying it's 92 degrees on my, on the Wahoo. Yeah, that's about what it feels like right now. Um, Oh, this road is super rocky and bumpy. Anyway, feeling hot, feeling sticky, feeling gross. I almost gave up when I got the flat because I couldn't get the tire to uh, properly seat. So took a, a lot of finagling and I, sometimes you know, these kinds of stress, these types of stress is a, a good thing. Uh, these kinds of problems that come up is a good thing. Not that I wish it upon anyone, but it's, an, it's definitely a lesson on how to handle uh, these kinds of stress because 
we are looking to do longer and longer rides and these things will come up when we're further away from home. And so, you know, I actually had to tell myself, you know, just calm down, just relax. And the more you stress about it, actually, you can't think straight. And when you can't think straight, you make bad decisions. We're in this dirt road called Scattercook Road. And it's a nice road when it wants to be nice. Uh, there are definitely parts of this road that I wish it could be similar to River Road. River Road is actually nicer um, because we, they, it doesn't have, well, now it has these uh, smoother looking, uh, whoa. and humid cannot get over this it is over 90 degrees now trying to um, replenish the fuel um, and also hydrate as much as we can um, I've probably gone through one two three four bottles so far or I'm in my fourth bottle of water thankfully we are able to stop at these different locations to get um, to some you know some bottles I think we're close to the 12 o'clock to the noon range now, so the sun is high up above us and it's intense. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get ready to, to head home. We're just here stopped at uh, River Road. And wow, you finished the entire thing. <laughs> yeah, he, it was a pretty good size, pretty sizable amount of, of crumb cake. Yeah, it's been kind of an adventure. Uh, we've had to, to stop a, a number of times when uh, the drone was following me on Cozier Hill Road, it uh, it lost me and then it ended up in the woods. Um, and we had to go in there, go into the woods to get it and it was kind of um, very wooded, let's just say, probably poison ivy all over the place. But I had this theory that I'm not allergic to poison ivy because I've never had it in my life, you know, the rash from poison ivy. I've never had it, and um, so far, I mean, maybe I'm jinxing myself, but so far, I haven't had any sort of reaction today, and I'm pretty sure I brushed up on some kind of poison ivy when I was in there. Oh God, it's so hot. So, so hot. <sighs> Ride turned out to be, I don't know how many times I could say this, it was really hot. Uh, we wound up doing 58 miles and close to about 4,000 feet of climbing and at averaging about 14.1 miles per hour, which is really good, especially when my average power was only 106 watts today, or maybe a little lower than that. And I had, I had issues with my feet going numb and it's so uncomfortable. I've had this issue before. When I was training with the bike erg, I would have that issue doing long rides. Um, this time, I was having that issue and I was also having some knee pain. So I'm not sure if my seat went down uh, at some point 
and um, that's why I'm having knee pain so I'm gonna have to contact our uh, bike fitter and see what he can do with that but anyway um, it is time for uh, to rest and relax and put our feet up and get a cold shower because I am looking forward to that uh, anyway guys thanks for tuning in to today's ride don't forget to enjoy your ride bye bye